graphs and networks, adjacency matrices. This is an adjacency matrix. A matrix, you'll remember, is a set of rows and columns with identifiers generally. And any graph can be represented as an adjacency matrix where the number between each set of connections shows us the number of edges joining those vertices. We need to be able to go from a matrix from a graph to a matrix and from a matrix to a graph. So the adjacency matrix records the number of connections between vertices of a graph. You need to have each vertex in each of the rows and in each of the columns and make your little matrix like that. Now Quite obviously, the leading diagonal, if you remember that terminology, connecting A to A, we're only going to have something in there apart from zero if we have a loop. There's no loops here, that was very silly of me. So my leading diagonal, A to A, B to B, C to C, can just be zeros. Then pop in each of your connections. A goes to E once. So, oh, okay, fine, let's start with A to B. A to B once, A to C once, um, A to D doesn't go. We're looking for direct connections only. A to E is one. Now, when you put those in, if you want, you can also do the other way, because if A to B is one, then B to A is one. A to C is one, so C to A is one. A to D is 0, so D to A is 0. A to E was 1, so E to A is 1. Or you can just go to each vertex and work along. It doesn't really matter. B to C has 2 multiple edges, so C to B has 2. B to D, 1, so D to B has 1. B to E, none, so E to B, none. C to D, none, so D to C is none. C to E, also none, so E to C is none. Then I've just got D to E, which is again none, so it's a very boring corner of the matrix. Please ignore the Harley outside. Now drawing a graph from a matrix, you'll remember we talked about isometric graphs. Here is where I will expect to get all the different graphs imaginable because you're all going to put A, B, C and D in different spots. So I try to make it kind of easy on myself and keep them all around in a bit of a group. But you know, you're going to have to do some dodging around and you can always get it right. We just work through and put everything in. Nothing connecting A, B, A to C, there's two. So you can just put in two connections between A to C. If you're doing this, it's a good idea to cross them off as you go, especially in a test, so that you don't get mixed up. A to D, nope. A to E, there's one. B, I need two between B and C. And you can see you can start to have to do some kind of wobbling around the place. B to D. B to E, no. C and A we did because we did A to C. C and B we did. Nothing between C to C. C to D, I've got to put that one in. And remember, you can then also go through once I've done C to D and say that means I've done D to C, if you want, to save time. C to E, nothing. So E to C will also be nothing. D to A, nope. 
D to B we've already got in because we put that in before. D to D, one. There's a loop at D. So be very careful to look for your loops. D to E, nothing. E to A, we've got it. E to B, nope. And nothing. So we've done a graph that works. But all sorts of different graphs could have occurred there, depending on how we organized our vertices.